Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Dead Rising. Uh, no Kel again this time. Uh, he's busy because uh, he has to be a because nerd and have a life and shit. Yeah, because he has responsibilities and he's a productive person. Yeah. God, what a dick. Probably has like a girlfriend too, which he kisses on the mouth like a complete gay boy. Oh, that went from that that went from one to a hundred. <laughs> uh, no, it's just one of my favorite fucking uh, like jokes that I've ever heard was like, I bet you kiss women on the mouth and fucking fake. <laughs> oh, you said kiss. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, what did you think I said? <laughs> I heard something else that rhymes with kiss. <laughs> but let's not dwell on that. I'm glad you said just kiss. <laughs> oh, oh hate. golden showers. Oh, hate. Got it. I, it took me a sec to realize. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, Nico, oh, Nick Offerman's wife. Uh, sorry, whose wife? Nick Offerman. <laughs> I'm saying Nick Offerman because I forgot the name of his character on Parks and Recreation. <laughs> what uh, is he again? Uh, Ron Swanson. Uh, Ron yes. Swanson, yes. Yeah, he had two wives named... Uh, his two ex-wives are named Tammy. Yeah, and one and of them was uh, uh, the nurse that uh, helped give birth to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she was basically a cougar. Well, yeah, that was the and joke. She was like uh, 30 years uh, his senior. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyway, so the storyline behind Tammy over here is that, uh, apparently, uh, she, uh, is sort of like a, uh, I guess a, an actress and does, like, a show where she's, like, a mermaid, but the problem is, is that, uh, she can't take off the, uh, the mermaid suit because she's going commando right now. What? So we have to carry her. My favorite kind of woman. I thought I was gonna say the plot twist is that she's actually a mermaid. Could you imagine if she was a uh, if mermaids did exist? That'd be great. Uh I don't know. Well, maybe oh. if just fantasy things in general just existed, it'd make things yeah. a lot more interesting anyway. Uh if you're talking about the idea that on the on the that on the ground they would uh, on solid ground, they would have legs. That would be, that, yeah, that would be cool. But if they were just fish 24/7, that would be no fun. Well, it'd be like that episode of Futurama where uh, Fry gets uh, uh, busy with a mermaid, and then he realizes that it doesn't work because uh, <laughs> uh, how the mermaids uh, reproduce is that she lays her eggs, and then uh, the male just fertilizes them. <laughs> they do like the fish. Yeah. <laughs> There's no female bits. Um, let's see what else. Uh, um, Royal flesh. I'm trying to remember. Uh, 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 what it was that we talked about in our last recording that we lost. Um, <laughs> if there was anything topical. That. I do recall you tell you. I do recall you asking me about first uh, about uh, Stephen. If I had watching any Stephen King stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I uh, uh, I remember now. Yeah. So when it came to the uh, reading Stephen King, um, uh, we talked about uh, Christine in another recording, and uh, I was talking about. Uh, I read from a Buick 8 and that was like one of the most boring fucking piles of shit books I've ever read in my life. Is that uh, a Stephen King? Uh, it was by Stephen King, yes. Um, uh, Stephen King. I never remember if it's Stephen or Stephen. Uh, it's Stephen with a PH, I think. <laughs> but. Then it's a Stephen. 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 Well, in uh, English-speaking countries, we don't really give a shit. We just say uh, Stephen for both. 
Well, yeah, well, it's very well known fact that the, the, the English language is completely bipolar. Exactly. But anyway, uh, for those who don't know uh, or haven't heard from a Buick 8 before, uh, basically it's it's the same idea of Christine of uh, a supernatural car, but instead of it coming to life to run people over in the night, uh, like a, a weird uh, mechanical werewolf, it's instead, what if this car transported things to an alternate dimension? And nothing happens for, like, the first half of the book. I should know, because that's where I gave up on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, and Stephen King also went into, like, really weird detail about the odd monsters that came out of the, uh, uh, the car, uh, portal thing, where it was, and I do distinctly remember one of them, it was, like, a very large, uh, bass fish that didn't have its head, but where its head would have been were, like, uh, pink tentacles with like black eyes on the end of the tentacles. Ah, uh, that wasn't the anime. That wasn't Stephen King's anime face. Uh, well, they weren't even like long tentacles, from what I uh, remember from the description, or maybe they were. I I can't remember. But anyway, uh, the way I pictured them, they're more like maybe a foot long at most. Why don't Oh, oh, sorry. When was that book released? Oh, God, uh... Like, early 2000s, I think? Mm-hmm. I was thinking, I was th uh... The thing it reminded me of is the Abeleth. Um... It would be like an Abeleth if it was, like, nowhere near that interesting. Mm -hmm. Um... My lady. My lady. Is that a costume for for Chuck with a fedora? <laughs> no, there's no fedoras in this game, thankfully. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> you stumble upon like oh, the last, the last, uh, the last person you have to rescue is like a a, a familiar fat man with blonde hair and a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. The storyline for this uh, one, if you guys didn't catch it, was that um, uh, this woman and her mother were arguing for a place where they could be safe, and they couldn't decide, so they had an argument, and then they stormed off away from each other. During a zombie apocalypse, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> So now we have to find the mother. <sighs> oh, love Hashtag it. women moment. Sorry, give me a moment here. Alright, Mr. Roboto. Anyway, uh... Speaking of women, uh... I've been watching a lot of red pill content lately. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but whatever. Um, but even then, the uh, the content that I'm watching is more like them highlighting just the uh, uh, the women on TikTok just going completely batshit crazy about really weird shit. Uh, sorry, Sam. I didn't hear a thing what you said. Don't worry, I was, father, like, I was more talking uh, to the audience, but uh, basically oh. I was talking about red pill content. Uh, which might as well just be black pill by now. Uh, I mean, see, there's different levels of uh, uh, pills, you see. Uh, so you got your red pill, your black pills, and then you got your uh, regular pills, and then your... Uh, uh, oh, fuck. Uh, Your schizo pills? No, not the Well, yes, the schizo pills, but... Uh, <laughs> the bombs are awesome. Yeah, that was called the Hell Mary. You combine grenades with a uh, football and you just huck it. And the other one we just did was... Uh, we tie dynamite uh, sticks to a, uh, a hunk of meat. 
and we throw it into a crowd and then the zombies all gather up next to it and explode. <laughs> anyway, uh, I remembered what it was. So you got your regular swallowing pills and then your uh, suppositories. <laughs> and you definitely don't want the black pill suppository because that one hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this, no, the uh, red pill. Uh, this, <laughs> this black, this suppository is just too damn buku. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's, all, that's one of my favorite quotes in cinema history. <laughs> it's not too goddamn buku. <laughs> Uh, the, um, uh, no, but the uh, red pill content that I've been, uh, watching as of late, um, it, it's more like just highlights of, uh, women on uh, TikTok just going absolutely batshit crazy about, like, really random things. You could just say women on TikTok. Well, yes. The uh, audience can fill in the gaps. <laughs> But no, uh, no, it was just like really crazy because it was like, um, some of them, uh, were doing the thing where it's like, uh, they're all complaining like where all the good men went kind of thing. And, uh, meanwhile you watch another one of their videos and they're explaining that, uh, the man that they're looking for is like the one percenters. <laughs> And it's like, well, that's why you're not finding any of the good men. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. Very much hyper... Uh, Modern-day hypergamy. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of one of the reasons why I've semi-given up on uh, dating apps, is just because... Uh, Dating uh, apps are a trap anyway. Because dating apps are just... You're just gonna get the most fat people who are... Who have no perspective of what kind of partner they should be looking for. I mean, yeah, but I... The reason why I went on to it was because... A, my job uh, has me working nights and I don't really do much during the day. B, I don't get out much even when I am up during the day. And C, uh... Uh, places where... I don't even know where the fuck you go anymore to find, uh, uh dates anymore. Because it's like, uh... You know, you can't do it at the workplace anymore because, uh... Then, the, if, uh, you get HR called on you. Uh, you can't do it, um... Uh, in the street because, uh, that's weird and creepy. You can't... I don't know, like, what's the... What's left? Like, the bar? Uh, fucking clubs. <laughs> you call a you call a girl or you you try to hit on a girl in the in the, in the workplace. So what you do on the weekends? I don't. I try not to get raped. <laughs> no, it's just that uh oh that uh classic meme where uh, they just immediately call uh, HR and it's like know the difference as to why uh what you did wrong. <laughs> And the difference is about 50 kilos, yeah, minimum. Basically. Uh, 50 kilos or uh, you need an extra zero or two at the end of your paycheck. But, um... Uh, yeah, so I figured, okay, so maybe a dating app would work, because, you know, presumably when you go on a dating app, you want to go there to date people. I mean, that was the logic I used, but apparently not. Uh, apparently, uh, what a lot of dating apps are for is uh, to try and uh, uh, thirst trap guys into following your Instagram account. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Uh, uh, she's a, uh, a mother, so, uh, she's getting up there in age, so, uh, she deserves the wheelchair. Uh, her daughter, uh, can go, uh, eat a dick. And, and then you just toss her around, toss her after it's over. Well, 
the wheelchair broke, alright? So, uh, maybe if she wasn't so fat, then it wouldn't have bro broken so quickly. And now you're body shaming her. Damn straight I am. <laughs> Is that one of your... Is that one of my what? That that scream, is that one of the girls you were rescuing? rescuing? Uh, if it was a female scream, yes. Uh, uh, for those uh, who uh, don't know yet, uh, I cannot uh, hear this because of the way that our recording setup is. But uh, if a, a woman screamed, then yes, that was more than likely the... Uh, uh, survivor getting groped by a uh, zombie. Yeah. Gotta learn the like the for the <laughs> the non square dance. Yeah. But yeah, the um, yeah, no, the whole dating app thing is just. Uh, it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, once a month, like, I'll get, like, maybe a match or a like kind of thing on my profile. And, gotta, and then even then... Game, you gotta start catfishing. You gotta start catfishing and lying a bit. You know? Yeah. Start taking some pictures of your body from, from specific frames that make it look like you're really, you're really buff. And, uh... And make up a really fancy name to about your about your job. <laughs> like I'm not a garbage cleaner. I'm a professional web waste disposal. No, you're a uh, product organizer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that can that can be your tin your Tinder description. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I know my daughter's dying of uh, fucking AIDS and shit. I'll give her her medicine in a bit. Um, I like how he's, uh, he asks, got any updates, and immediately a zombie just goes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see. But you know what the weird thing was? Uh, I, I think I mentioned this, that uh, when I went to Japan, I turned on the uh, dating app just to see what was, like, in the area while I was there. And from two days of having it open, I had, like, five likes. <laughs> and, uh, like, uh, one of the women that did chat uh, with me was actually interested in, like, uh, hooking up and looking for a date, but unfortunately when she got back to me, it was, like, my last day of the trip, so I said, ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh, Daijin! We love you a long time! <laughs> Apparently there is such a thing as Gaijin hunting, uh, over in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's basically reverse yellow fever. <laughs> it's the burger fever. Yeah. Oh, what does Vicky want? <laughs> I'm sure she's uh, very uh, appreciative of these uh, spinning saw blades uh, going through Honey. her torso. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can't. The, this... the, the image kind of froze for a bit. And when the audio came back, we were basically talking over each other. Oh, weird. Anyway, um, so, uh, to catch you up, <laughs> Goke, uh, apparently, uh, Vicky is really, really, really interested in this fucking random-ass plant. <laughs> mm -hmm. We really gotta I'm save thinking, this plant. I'm thinking that maybe Vicky should be the one the magicians used for their, used for their, for their number. For their <laughs> show, because, because she doesn't seem to mind the saw blades at all. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said that the magician should have uh, used her because uh, she wants to save a fucking plant over people. No, that would be a complete non sequitur. Is that a weapon that, like, a, one of the craftable weapons that sh that doesn't break after a while? 
Uh, all the weapons break. Um, it's just that uh, certain weapons will break faster than other weapons, and other uh, weapons are objectively better than uh, uh, others. But anyway, uh, the vacuum cleaner saw blade is actually pretty decent, and uh, you can suck up zombies and just completely eat them. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, no, I, I just found it baffling that, uh, you know, a few years of being on dating apps and, uh, uh, uh trying to, uh, well, get a date kind of thing, um, r r excuse me, uh, yields no results, uh, Think, thinking about all of those years gave you a bit of a, a bit of a, ref a gag reflex. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Um, but no, it, uh, I got, like, basically no results, but, you know, two days over in uh, Japan, uh, like, I get five, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is the place! This is where I belong! I mean, basically. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not seeing why not at this point. Like, I even uh, mentioned it to my mom, and she was like, yeah, like, uh, it sounds like uh, the women there would appreciate you more than the women over here. <laughs> and you know shit's bad when my own mom is suggesting that. The maple syrup women don't appreciate my value. I'm going to look for sushi. I mean... As much as I enjoy drinking maple syrup straight from the bottle, the sushi is uh, definitely much better for you. <laughs> I imagine much healthier too. Um, I'm actually kind of curious as to how unhealthy maple syrup would be because, yeah, it's basically sugar, but like if you take get real maple syrup kind of thing, um, like how bad is that kind of thing? Like, because yeah. it's like natural sugars, right? Ah, uh, Skipper, probably the same issue with, like, uh, olive oil. Because the cheap oli olive oil is, like, uh, my, my, my father uh, alerted me to this. Like, cheap olive oil is basically half, half of it is just seed oil. It's like soy oil, okay. soybean oil, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Basically seed oil that is, that is mixed within, within the, the olive oil. So if you order, if you wanna get the the hundred percent pure stuff, it gets gets really expensive, which is funny because the process of making seed oil is crazy complicated stuff, while making olive oil is just pressing the olives. Yeah, it's um. Uh, I know that they uh, fake wasabi a lot, where they basically just use horseradish and then uh, dye it green. Uh, because uh, they're in the same uh, family. Because apparently the process of making real uh, uh, wasabi is uh, insanely complicated and they have really uh, made uh, proper farms to grow it. So they still have to like... Uh... I'm, I'm sorry, you, the process, you mean raising wasabi, uh, the plant, or just making the paste? And uh, as far as I know, making the paste is just... Yeah. yeah, making the paste is super easy. I was talking about, like, growing the plant. Like, there's no... Apparently, they don't really have a process or a farm to really make it. Uh, so, it's... Uh, they still do it the old-fashioned way, uh, where they have to uh, find a, a stream on the side of a mountain cliff and uh, fucking harvest it that way. <laughs> is... Did you have... Uh... Wasabi, wasabi flavored ice cream in Japan? Uh, not wasabi flavored. Um, I have had green tea ice cream though, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, what was really interesting when I was in Japan was that uh, they did mention uh, a few times uh, while we were there that oh yeah, you can buy uh. 
all the uh, snacks you want, you like and enjoy uh, the snacks and stuff there. But whatever you do, if you get ice cream, you cannot eat it on the bus. And we were like, wait, what? Why? Why can't we eat ice cream on the bus? Like, what? What's the taboo there? Is it a taboo? Like, what? So we asked about I it. Hmm? I imagine it's just a matter of common sense. Because if that ice cream, like, if you run over a pothole, that ice cream is going everywhere. So. Well, you could say that about pop if you're drinking it or any food. <laughs> That's why we were wondering about, like, why ice cream in particular? And uh, they mentioned that, oh, if uh, the ice cream spills onto the, uh, uh, the bus uh, carpet floor, uh, dry cleaning is a, it really fucking expensive, so... So I was like, okay, yeah, that so makes sense. Eat, so don't you eat that ice cream in the bus. Now, excuse me while I finish my bowl of ramen. Yeah, so... I, I guess so with the other foods, it's just more along the lines of, uh, you know, just vacuum and it's fine, but... Uh, uh, I guess ice cream is the, uh, uh, the real bitch to clean. I was thinking about this. I don't know if you've ever heard of this anime called uh, Daily Lives of High School Boys. Uh, is that the one where that woman was chasing the guy uh, for like the entire episode to say that uh, it's a misunderstanding? <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> uh, you showed yeah. me that clip. Uh, yeah. The anime starts with that, the, you know, the cliche about the girl running late to college and she has a piece of toast in her mouth. Mm hmm. The the anime starts with that one of the boys just just running to running to to school with a with a toast in his mouth and then all it cuts to the other one the one is eating a the other boy is eating a bowl of ramen while he runs <laughs> and I think the other boy is cutting a steak. <laughs> anyway, so what do you think about my makeshift one more? Sounds like a bit of a bit of a, a bit cumbersome to, to wield. Yeah, it really is. It's not a very good weapon, but it's fun to uh, just sort of uh, uh, grind them. down zombies. Yeah, two in one, maybe. Yeah. Um. Actually, uh, looking at the uh, the length of this video, uh, it's actually pretty short, so I think we just do a lot of goofing around uh, for the rest of this. Oh well, that's I find fine. It amusing. I find it amusing how the zombies don't go into the... into, like, the... the, the grass. I guess, they're, I guess they're really mindful of the... Um, well, to be fair, the grass is either, like, up on a... Uh, a ledge, or it's uh, surrounded by a uh, uh, a fence, so it's hard for them to navigate. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I imagine uh, I imagine once your knees starting rotting away, it gets a bit difficult to to go upstairs. Yeah, that's why the escalator is so convenient for them. But uh, here's a, a very weird uh, combo weapon. Uh, we have to get this uh, bingo uh, ball roller, and we combine it with a battery. <laughs> Makes sense to me. And with that, Perfect. we get a Tesla coil. <laughs> and how it works is that we just huck it into a group of zombies. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Off it goes! <laughs> I hope Elon Musk has played this game. Yeah, this is where he gets all of his ideas. <laughs> no, this should be his next next project. Oh, the Tesla ball? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, doesn't it make sense? Well, yeah, he, uh, uh, the Tesla cars, right? So. Mm -hmm. I, I still find that fucking... Uh, 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 presentation that he did for the uh, cyber truck. Uh, the, the the yeah the Tesla truck that was so fucking funny. He's like yeah this bad boy's indestructible and it immediately shatters. 
I think Elon Musk just taken the piss by now. He's probably like, you know what? I already have more money than I already have enough money to buy a country. Well, he so, basically already did. Uh, that's how he's rich. He uh, owns a uh, emerald mine in South Africa. Yeah, yeah he, he already has enough money to buy a country. So he, yeah, he, he bought he's South really, Africa. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, if Elon Musk had uh, had bought South Africa, I doubt it would be as bad as it is right now. Okay. Well, he bought. Uh, he probably, he bought... probably organize it much better. I mean, he bought a uh, uh, Twitter, and uh, it's it's better, but it's still shit. <laughs> yeah, because it's Twitter. Social media is generally a horrible place, regardless. But it's <laughs> it's better than what it, what it was before. Okay. Speaking of social media, what other YouTube videos have you been watching? <laughs> um, a bunch. No, I, it was just more of a joke. Just say, uh, adding on that yeah. we're we're currently doing something on social media right now. Because mm -hmm. I I do think that uh, that the cyber truck was probably a very elaborate meme that he's playing right now. Because I don't, he's sitting on a pile of money that basically means he doesn't have to care about anything. Like financially, the guy has no has no reason to to. To even be bothered by anything for the rest of his life, so he's probably just like he's just probably just taking the piss. Sometimes I I do imagine like the cyber truck like is him taking the piss <laughs> because. <laughs> well, I personally I I figured uh, like uh, Dogecoin was him taking the piss. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I mean he's the guy. I the. I'm pretty sure he doesn't care anymore because really, if you had something like a hundred billion, like, well, a net worth of a hundred billion, like you don't have, you don't really have that on your, on the bank. But if you had something like a hundred, a hundred billion net worth, what else? What else do you get to be worried about in your life? Yeah, yeah. I mean, well. I actually know what you could worry about. Uh, the uh, new uh, uh, capital gains tax that I think Biden's trying to introduce, where it's yeah, uh, based true. on uh, like uh, potential uh, uh, capital. I think it was, was what it was called. Can you imagine if Elon Musk actually buys a country for real. Uh, like he goes to one of those. Uh, one of those countries in Africa which are still a monarchy and say, um, yeah, I want to I wanna buy your country and I'm going to be the king now. It just does or it to Eglin just to fuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> Eglin. He makes the, he makes the flag of the country just like the egg, like the, the, the Twitter egg. <laughs> No, no. Uh, he he. Uh, keep it the Union Jack, but uh, he would make more emphasis on the uh, the X part of the Union Jack. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying like uh, you 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 said Eggland, like uh, name the country Eggland. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that would be what it would be called if uh, uh, Doctor Robotnik uh, took over. Come on, Chuck. You could have just said, "Hey, it's time for your medicine. Can you pause the game?" <laughs> yeah, and you, like you just given her medicine that is gonna like extend her life for I don't know how many hours. You could stand to be a little bit less somber than that. Yeah, it's like, um, the way that Zombrex works in the Dead Rising universe is that uh, one shot of the needle take uh, basically extends uh, your life by twenty four hours. Yeah. But he's talking like she has terminal cancer. Well, to be fair, it it kind of is. It's like if she doesn't take it, she turns into a zombie. Yeah. The, uh, you're waiting for the military because they're the ones with uh, they 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 the ones that have the permanent stuff, right? Uh, the permanent stuff? Uh, no, they're the ones that uh, 
are going to clear out and save all the uh, the survivors uh, that are in the uh, safe house here. Mm. Uh, they're clean. The other... They're doing cleanup detail essentially. But with that, I'll see you all next time. Have a nice night. Bye bye.